Hello everyone, and welcome to Orion Trail, a uh, brand new game that I'm trying out. It's not out quite yet, it's still in, I guess you could say, a uh, test phase. It's on Kickstarter. You can find it on Kickstarter. It's a prototype. Um, so let's check it out. It's a really cool game. Uh, right now the demo uh, has these three scenarios that we can choose from. So one scenario is called Ship Shape. Uh, and this scenario is notable starship dealer uh, Sklee Swinder is seeking ships to sell at the end of the Orion Trail. He's play paying double the market price for anything eager spacefarers can bring him, provided the goods are in decent condition. Reach the end of the trail, uh, taking little as little ship damage as you can. And we have food for the brood. A ravenous alien queen beast is offering glory and rarities to those that bring copious amounts of food to feed her countless new arrivals. Reach the end of the trail with as much food as you can. And then fuel. Uh, the albino snake people of uh, Epular. Four are seeking large donations of ship fuel to move their planet <laughs> further from the sun. They are offering a sample of their galaxy famous elixirs of unusual power to those that can provide the most fuel cells. Reach the end of the trail with as much fuel as you can find. Hmm. Uh let's let's uh let's do Hmm. I don't know, this, um, these elixirs sound kind of cool from the albino snake people, so we'll do that one. Alright, so now we can choose our captain, and down here we have attack, tactics, diplomacy, science, bravado, all different attributes, kind of like you would find in like, I guess you could say a tabletop game. Uh, and then at the top we have food, we have fuel, we have our crew members, and then we have our ship's hull. So each of these uh, will be filled in when we actually select our ship. Um, so each of these captains have different areas of uh, what they're really good at. So this guy is really good in diplomacy, uh, and this one's really, really great in science. Uh, so we're going to actually pick Dusty McBinnis because he has a lot of bravado. All right, so we want to finish with extra fuel, and this one already out the at the gate has 1,200 fuel, uh, but only has 75 hunger, which I guess is better than this one. Um, it's got 35 crew members. Um, so this is the Traffinate Traffinicantor, something like that. <laughs> Traffic Cantor. Yeah, there we go. It captured enemy ship with a mind of its own. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick that one. And so we have 75 out of 100, 1200 out of 1200 fuel, 35 out of 50 crew members, and 3 out of 3 ship hulls. <laughs> Alright, so now we can choose our officers. And uh, we could probably do with some more attack here. So... We can do Slapdash 3000 or the ship's computer. Um, let's do Slapdash. Um, and then we'll pick Dr. Gardenia Forazano. Forazano, yes. And then we'll also get... Um, who else do we need? Uh, we have... Mm. Do we need another doctor or do we need a commander? Um, let's go with Commander Ivana. There we go. So we're flying through space. Here's our crew down here. Oh gosh. And here's is our first red alert. Galactic War Zone. We made it to the vast and perilous Vesper Nebula. An endless battle between the... Takoshans, a chili powder people, and the Oculoids, a minor eyeball squid federation, rages across the nation. Uh, oh, <laughs> the nation? The nebula. 
Um, so these are different scenarios. They're really humorous, a lot of them. Um, and then here are what we can choose to do. So if we click scraps with our electromagnetic, we have a chance at increased haul. If we try to negotiate the, trans the ceasefire, then we have increased food. If we want to ignite the nebula gas, we have a random chance of getting something. Um, we're pretty good on food for now, but we can always have some more. So we're going to try and negotiate a ceasefire. And it's going to use our diplomacy, which is pretty high. So we have a plus 7 already. We rolled an 11. Um, so you invite the leaders of both factions to come aboard your ship for negotiations. It turns out we roll an 18. The negotiations are tense, but you eventually reach an agreement. The Takoshans cater a celebratory ceasefire luncheon aboard your ship, but the ocular leader has a violent allergic reaction that levels your biolab. Oh my gosh. Um, you sigh and begin to box the leftovers. So we lose three science, but we gain 25 food. And we also gain a diplomacy point. So that's reflective down here. So we have a really high diplomacy. Not very good science right now, or very good attack. Uh, so now we have another red alert, the alien intruder. Internal sensors detect an alien presence suddenly aboard your ship. It has given no indication of its intentions. Hmm. So now we're losing a bunch of stuff here. Um, we can afford to lose a ship haul. So we're going to try, but our diplomacy is high. Uh, let's try diplomacy. Try to communicate with the alien intruder. Use the ship speakers to broadcast a universal peace message. The peace message works! Oh, And soon trade relations be uh, open with the alien race. Unfortunately, the primary export is re-recordings of stray radio transmissions of various old Earth bully pants. <laughs> There's a mutiny in the crew and we lose 10 crew members, but we gain another diplomacy uh, and so whenever you reach I don't know if you heard that or not but whenever you reach like a uh, lower amount it'll turn red here to warn you that uh, well you're losing stuff uh, Orion's buckle <laughs> you've reached asteroid field uh, hmm you've reached asteroid field known as Orion's buckle today it appears dense with asteroids of all shapes and sizes crossing won't be easy anything could happen in there uh, so we can blast it, we can switch off autopilot, we can hitch a ride with, uh, on an asteroid. Hmm, should we go with the bravado? And let's go with the bravado, switch off autopilot and take the helm. Ooh, we, uh, we roll a 15. Oh, right. It suddenly occurs to you that you have not, never piloted this kind of ship before. <laughs> oh no, your ship zigzags. Uh, perilous, uh, perilously close to asteroids until you finally slam into a huge sign that reads "Caution, Asteroids." Fantastic! Uh, the impact causes you to forget half of your best maneuvers. Oh no! So we lose the ship hull and we lose tactics. That's not good. Oh man! But we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Uh, we've got 900. Well, uh oh. We've got like 855 fuel, so we're doing okay. Um, our crew's not the best, but well, you know, that's all right. Okay. The sensors detect a highly advanced alien science vessel ahead. They seem to be conducting invasive and elaborate scans of your ship. You make a note to change your password and prepare to take action. Uh, so what can we do here? Should we go with? the uh, diplomacy since that's our strong suit so we'll do that yeah we'll hail them and clear uh, clear your throat loudly <clears throat> you send transmission to the vessel and try to keep your diplomatic composure they apologize for the intrusion explaining that they did not think you were intelligent enough to detect your scans they wish to follow your ship and document the rest of your mission and offer some fuel to help the cause oh you, th you think that Documented document aliens for the gift. We gained 400 fuel. Wow, so we got topped off. That's pretty fantastic. Uh oh, so we got another one here. The deadly space pirate 
uh, Planetary has escaped prison. He's seeking vengeance on you and your crew for sending him away those long years ago. Oh boy. Let him come, we'll fill him in his ship with holes. Maybe if we disguise ourselves, uh, ask your science team's help to outsmart Planetary. Oh man, what to do? Hmm. We'll, uh. Hmm. Should we disguise ourselves? Let's try to disguise ourselves. Okay, let's set the fabricator to random. Extend its range to the cover entire ship and cross your fingers. There's a flash of light and suddenly your ship looks like a planetary ship. Oh! The pirate arrives just in time for the authorities to arrest both ships. You convince them that you're not a pirate by having them eat your food stores. Oh, no pirate would steal food that bad. Good. Alright. We're cruising a ride along here in space. Uh oh. Hmm, excuse me. Can I take a drink there? Uh, the vortex. A space vortex opens in front of you. Your ship's sensor, uh, sensors show an unknown object is coming out of it. Uh oh. Headed right your way. Immediately fly into the vortex. Whatever's coming bears close analysis. Battle stations, unknowns incoming. Hmm. We got some tough choices here. I don't want to lose any more crew members. Because if we don't have any crew members, who's going to fly the ship? We can't finish, right? Uh. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to take a risk here. We're going to say battle stations. Alright, so we got an 8 plus 3 is 11. So give the command shield up, launch plasma torpedoes into the vortex. Warning shot. The energy based aliens take your torpedoes as generous and tasty gifts. Oh. Flatter, they send you some energy gifts of their own back to you, which tear through the hull like tissue paper. On the plus side, it was a great initial dip diplomatic contact. Ah, well, so we lose a hull, but we gain another diplomacy. Uh oh, so we can't really take another hit like that. And we're slowly running out of food. Uh oh. Your communications officer tells you that you're being hailed by an unknown vessel floating in deep space. A shady figure appears on the hollow screen. This guy right here. Chance of shadiness, 82.7%. That's pretty shady. Um, offering to barter with you in exchange for some fuel. Uh, well, we do have 900. So tell you what, we're going to exchange... Uh, Fuel for food. Oh wow! We rolled a twenty and plus ten, got thirty total. Holy cow! You dress a number of your shorter crew members in rags, parade them in front of the shady figure, and convince him that these are in fact human orphans. He is so moved by their pitiful, ugly, truly hideous complexions that he showers you with food, supplies, and fresh shoes. For goodness sakes! Wow! So we didn't lose anything, we actually gained 50 food and 100 fuel for that roll. That's amazing. Amazing. I, I love these like quirky little interactions here. The Doomsday Ship, oh no. An ancient planet-eating Doomsday Robo-Destroyer has come to life nearby. According to legend, it is nigh unstoppable. Oh. Well, we really can't pick this one because we don't have a haul to give up. Hmm. Let's say that discretion is the better part of valor. All right. It gives command to raise shields and set course for somewhere safe, maximum speed. The rover destroyer sensors register your increased power output and gives chase. It closes in relentlessly, but it runs out of fuel at the last moment. The day is saved. The crew conceals your cowardice promotions all around, so we lose a hundred fuel. But we get away. That's pretty important. I like this. Our ship it looks pretty sweet. The young and the clueless. You are called in to handle crew drama. Uh oh. Apparently, Tad and Alexis have been fighting. 
Oh no. Dakota found out and made her move. Now Alexis is a mess. Is that Alexis? Alexis, maybe? Hmm. And Tad threatened your transport engineer, Skylar. What does Skylar have to do with it? Hmm. Alright, comfort. Uh, Alexis, she's too good for Tad. Let Dakota know she needs to fix this. Create an algorithm to solve crude drama. Uh, we're gonna go with our strong suit again and comfort Alexis or Alexis or uh, ALCs. Uh, you knock on the door to Alex Alexis' quarter, <laughs> Alexis' private crew quarters. We roll another twenty. Holy cow! This is gotta be good, right? When you enter her room, you're surprised to find out she's not upset. Oh, huh. you learn that she has been faking so she can blackmail her rich oil baron uncle. Wow. From then on, you conspire with her and put the squeeze on her uncle. That's amazing. So we gain 400 fuel for that crew drama. And we're going to finish really well. So long as, like, something catastrophic doesn't happen. Which I'm really hoping is not the case. Okay. So we find a lonely asteroid. Um... A lonely asteroid tumbles idly in space. Its barren exterior has no distinguishing markings except for a series of short, irregular trenches carved across its surface. Examine the asteroid, take no chances, and blow it up. Try to exploit the asteroid for raw materials. Um, we're really close to being finished. Hmm. I hate to lose all of my food for like a crazy chance. Uh, we're gonna examine the asteroid. Oh, wow. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Your science team dispatches a rover to explore the asteroid's surface and finds uh, your rover lands on the surface, but it turns out to be rubber. Huh. After much fuel expensive high velocity testing, it is incorporated into your ship as a powerful, albeit nausea-inducing, defensive feature. Oh. Well, there we go. And... Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, so. Perfectly paired paradox. A version of yourself dressed in a fancy vest appears on a bridge. Future you tells you to detour to a nearby planet. Before they can finish explaining, a second version of yourself appears covered in leeches and tells you not to listen to the first you. Oh. To the planet. Away from the planet, full speed. Shoot them both. Oh. Huh. Well. Our bravado and our tactics are the same. Hmm. Huh. Or we can take a risk and shoot them both. We're gonna go away from the planet. At full speed. Oh no! We rolled a one. You ignore the fancy you and give the planet a wide berth. The version of you covered in leeches breathes aside our leaves and vanishes. The leeches are left behind though. Galley informs you that they are both mostly edible when cooked. So we gained 15 food, but uh, 15 food, but we lost 100 fuel. So not too bad. Not as bad as we thought. The thing in the abyss. You discover an enormous black hole in deep space. Something massive stares at you from beyond the event horizon. You hear a whisper in your mind, offering you a deal. Ask it for food. Fire your entire payload into the black hole. Ask it for power. Hmm. We're gonna ask it for power. You spot an ominous grin that nobody else on the bridge understands. Oh, you sport an ominous grin that nobody else understands. We roll a 10, we get plus 6, we get a 16. Oh. Oh man. What a. We took a hit. Whispering stops. Um. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. Um, Uniticians report that ship systems have been upgraded. 
Your science team can't understand it, and the engineering intern swears he didn't touch anything, like, at all. Unfortunately, several of your cargo bays have gone missing. Oh no. But we did it. We completed it. Wow. Just barely. <laughs> well, not really just barely. I mean, we didn't finish with as much fuel as I thought maybe we could have. But at least we finished. Um, so we get bonuses. So we get 100, I guess, points. Points? Maybe money? Uh, galactic, galactic cash. So we get a hundred galactic cash for every burgers. Um, we get three times galactic cash for every fuel. Two hundred galactic cash for every crew member, and two thousand galactic cash for every haul. Um, and so we have. Oh. So we get a times two multiplier. Interesting. I'm not really sure how we get the times five here. Maybe because, uh, oh, oh, I guess maybe because that's what the mission was for the fuel. So you get a higher multiplier depending on the mission. Oh, okay. So our grand total was 63,400. And so there we go, guys. Mission complete. Oh, they're continuing mission. Oh, there we are. Uh, if you enjoyed that, uh, and it seems like something that you'd play because it's really fun a lot of fun actually I've been playing it uh, for like <laughs> last week or so different like different scenarios um, I don't think I tried that one yet so that was that was pretty cool that was pretty fun it was pretty difficult um, check it out on Kickstarter uh, Orion Trail um, I don't know if it's been successfully funded yet or not, depending on when this video goes out, it might be. Uh, but if it hasn't, check it out. I'll play, uh, I'll post the, um, URL, um, in the, in the, uh, description, video description, so that you can click on that and check it out. Download this, uh, prototype, even, so that you can check it out and do, <laughs> do, do a lot better than I did, uh, because I know you will. So until next time, bye!